know it's been a while, now I'm mixing up the drink I just need a girl who gon' really understand I just need a girl who gon' really understand I'm What is the deal, beautiful people? My name is Ramon, welcome back to another episode of AMA How this works, you ask your question in the comment section down below and we answer it in upcoming videos. So today's question comes from the <laughs> comes from the homie LD, and he he said I was, I was having he has an NEX5, and he he wants to get a DSLR now, or a Sony NEX5, which is this guy. So this is what I started out. This was what got me all back into it. Beautiful camera for street photography. Uh, I really do love this camera. And he he says uh, he wants to get into a DSLR, uh, maybe the full frame, but it's pricey. So I said, okay, what kind of photography uh, are you doing? And he says, uh, and, and I also asked, would you think about a full frame mirrorless? And he says, well, you know, he's into street photography and portraits. Mirrorless are cool. Just thought I'd try a DSLR as it is a new experience and you never had one. So, this is an interesting topic, um, and I, I want to answer this question in terms of a, a mirrorless, oh, I'm sorry, a full frame versus a crop sensor type of deal, because what, what, I, what I see him doing here is something that I've done, and this is why I have so many different cameras, because you just want to know right you, you know you, you want to be able to get your hands on all these different tools and and the better you can use all of them the better or the more of jack of a trade you become so i'm all about that but something that really stood out to me was the fact that he said full frame and coming from something like the nex the nex5 uh i can tell you that's that aps-c sensor is pretty sharp Yes, it is. Uh, it's it's half the size of a full frame sensor. We know that. Uh, but if you were to put that APS-C sensor in in something like uh, an A6000, an A6300, uh, which is what's in there is APS-C, you start to see these things are super capable but you don't have to spend full frame money. And this is something that me and Jerry go back and forth a lot, full frame versus crop sensor. And not only APS-C, we're talking micro four thirds because I've just started shooting with this micro four thirds, which is four times smaller than the full frame. And as you guys know, this is my full frame monster near and dear to my heart. I do all of my professional work with this, right? And I've heard Jerry say, I'm not sure that my full frame sensor was sharper than my micro four thirds. And I hang up the phone, boom, hell off my phone. Talking that nonsense, fool, what's wrong with you? And I got a micro four thirds camera and I'm just like, yo, this shit is super sharp. So this begs the question, why are you chasing uh, a full frame sensor? Uh, there are things I do like about a full frame sensor. For instance, when I go out night shooting with my A7, uh, I've got a pretty fast lens. Oh, this is it right here, actually. Uh, I got a pretty fast lens. This is a, this is an old A mount, uh, 28 to 75. And this guy's a constant 2.8. That's super fast for a zoom. In fact, they just released a G Master version of it and they're charging two grand. Fuck out of here, Sony. You're not getting my two grand. Uh, way too much money. But when I go out shooting at night, I've never really worried about my exposure settings or getting dark images because when I got back home, I can pull the shadows like crazy because that, that huge sensor captures a large amount of detail. And in post, I can recover all of that detail by simply pulling the shadows. <coughs> Excuse me. That's something I can't quite do in the micro four thirds world. So if I make a mistake and the image is slightly underexposed, I'm a little worried on micro four thirds, right? So that's, that's something that's nice about full frame. Uh, when reading, when looking at lenses and settings you should be and all the crazy math that goes on in photography, uh, it's nice that when something says 20 millimeter, it's 20 millimeter. But other than those two things, I mean, 
I can't really say that I've noticed a huge difference in having a full frame camera in terms of quality and the overall end game and the end picture over something like Micro Four Thirds or APS-C sensor. And I think that's extremely interesting. Now, on my to-do list are some tests. Uh, and it's gonna take me a while because I, I gotta take my Olympus out and I gotta take my uh, my A7 out and I gotta set these things up and I gotta take the exact same images, the exact same settings and I gotta do the comparisons. That video is gonna take me a while because one, it's cold as hell. Two, I need to get a faster lens for my Olympus. I wanna get something that'll that'll get me up to the in the aperture range like a 1.7. I'm thinking about that 17 mil and I really like that that 45 mil that's running around. People say that's the sharpest lens ever. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, I want your feedback on this. Me personally, um, I would definitely upgrade LD. I would have you upgrade from that NEX. Uh, but I would look into something like a, I would look into something like a, a A6300, a A6500. And if you're hell bent on a full frame, you know, Look at look look at Sony. Keep looking at Sony because I know when you go full frame with like Canon and Nikon, uh, of course these things faster shutter speed, faster autofocus, yada yada yada. But there's simple things that they're missing. Like it's a pain. Uh, I think the newer Canons finally does do it. Like the ability to send the goddamn picture from the camera to the phone. Like I I you know. This is what I think of Canon and Nikon. It's just, it's just like they're they're lazy. They're lazy. They're getting their ass kicked. So I'm not even looking that direction. But you know, I, I, I'm interested to see what you guys out there have to contribute to this to this conversation. Uh, leave your comments. Leave your comments below. You know, have you all been exposed to full frame? Uh, did you shoot full frame in a prior life, and now you're on to Micro Four Thirds? Or are you using APS-C or crop sensor in general? Are you happy? Uh, would you go back? What are the downsides you're noticing? Let me know. Uh, let LD know. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Hit that subscribe button. We got plenty of content coming. In fact, next to the subscribe button is a little bell. You hit that bell and you'll know immediately when we make a new video live. So that always helps us. Make sure that you're seeing our videos. My name is Ramon and I'm out of here. Peace.